a very good morning dears and welcome to today's session in today's session i'll be dealing with yet another paper of yours that is informatics where i'll be dealing with module 2 and module 2 uh, is all about the basic hardware system of a computer and uh, i don't think you need a, an introduction about computers because computers are too uh, common and we have an idea about what, are the, what is a computer, what are the uh, components of a computer. So uh, a proper definition uh, about computer is, uh, I, don't th I don't think such a, an introduction is needed. But uh, in this particular uh, module, my aim is to uh, just brush up your memory regarding certain uh, computer devices which we know but at times we uh, we forget the names of these devices or at times we forget about uh, the the devices that are there within a computer so uh, the aim is to familiarize you with these uh, names that you already know so basic computer terminologies especially the focus is on computer hardware system so we basically know what is a computer, right? So this is, uh, if you if you look, just look at this picture, this is what happens in a computer. Some input is given to the computer, some data or information is given to the computer. It is being processed at one particular part. Then the uh, data is stored. Uh, the information is available for uh, the person who is using that. Then at the end, the output is given so input processing storing that information and the final output this is the entire process that happens in a computer so uh, basically the computer system is divided into software and hardware computer software and computer hardware and we know the difference between a hardware and a software Computer hardware basically refers to the physical part of a computer, the physical aspect uh, like uh, uh, the cables, the connectors that are used, the power supply units, uh, the peripheral devices like the monitor, the keyboard, mouse, the CPU, speakers, printers, scanners, microphones, all these uh, devices come under the hardware part. And software is generally the set of instructions uh, that help the computer to function properly. And these set of instructions are, uh, you know, are also known as programs. So without programs, a computer or any electronic gadget uh, could not function properly, whether it be the case of a small mobile phone, phone or any uh, device. Uh, it needs a program in order to run. So, uh, and the terms hardware and software, there is also a reason why uh, a set of devices are called hardwares and the set are known as uh, softwares because uh, hardware, uh, the name shows that it is very rigid with respect to changes. The hardware part uh, remains normally unchanged. It is not frequently changed. Whereas the software of a computer, uh, you know, is easy to change, easy to change in the sense it is readily created, modified and if needed uh, completely erased. So there's a difference between uh, or the reason why these two terms are used, hardware and software. One uh, doesn't change frequently, the other is quite easy to change or modify. Now, uh, as I said, my concern is about the hardware part of a computer. There are different types of hardware and uh, it can be basically divided into three. The input devices, the output devices and the internal hardware or the processing uh, hardware. So first let's look into the input devices. All these uh, uh, consist of uh, the input hardware, the keyboard, the numeric keypad, the pointing device or the mouse. A remote control, joystick, touch screen, scanner, graphics tablet, microphone, digital camera, webcams, light pens. All these can be called as input 
devices or all these constitute the input hardware of a computer. So what is actually meant by input devices? Input devices are devices by which data or information is provided to the computer. I hope it is clear. A computer cannot work without information, without data. So someone should give this information to the computer through some particular uh, devices. So these devices by which we enter the data or we provide the data to the computer uh, are known as input devices or input hardware. Basically, uh, keyboard, mouse and scanner. These are known as the input main input devices we know keyboard the set of keys the uh, letters the numbers the function keys which enable us to enter data into the computer then comes the mouse something with which we uh, control the movement of the cursor or it is also known as the you know uh, uh, the pointer okay then comes scanner um, scanner is a device uh, we know uh, which can read text or illustrations and translate that in a form the computer can use. So through these devices we enter data or we provide data to the computer and they are known as input devices. Now the second that is the internal hardware or uh, the processing part. The processing part consists of these devices CPU motherboard ram and rom you have learned all these things in your school classes i am quite sure but still as i said just brush up things cpu is a central processing unit um, it is known as the brain of the computer and almost all the calculations uh, takes place at this particular part it uh, has two logical components uh, the arithmetic logic unit or alu and control unit that is CU. Then we have uh, motherboard which is the main circuit board of a computer. Um, this motherboard uh, contains CPU, memory, expansion slots and all the controllers required to control standard hardware devices. This is a motherboard. Without a motherboard a system cannot work. Then comes RAM which is random access memory which is the place in computer where the OS, the operating system or the application programs and data in current use are kept. It is also uh, a temporary memory which is compared to a person's short term memory. Then there is ROM that is read only memory, a technology that allows us to write data only once and after the data has been written, we can read it in an unlimited number of times. So these four devices form the internal hardware or the processing part. So this is uh, a CPU. We are familiar with this particular uh, device because we see a CPU connected with the computer. And these are the different elements that are within the devices that are within a CPU. The floppy disk part, heatsink, hardware, optical drive, RAM module, the CPU processors, motherboard, power supply cables, the system fan. All these devices are there placed within this CPU that is a central processing unit. So the central processing unit, motherboard, RAM and ROM, all these devices are together known as the internal hardware or the processing hardware. Now uh, the third that is the output hardware or the output devices. So any, any equipment or any device that converts data or information into human readable form is called an output device or an output hardware. Uh, and um, mostly uh, there is a term to refer to all these devices that convert uh, data into human readable form. That is a VDU, Visual Display Units. These units are called VDU, uh, the monitor, the printer plotters, speakers, all these are together known as the visual display units where the data is converted into human readable format. Monitor, printer, speakers and plotters. You, we are family with monitors, printers and speakers also with projectors but I don't think you are family with plotters. Plotters is again um, more like a printer 
which is used for printing vector graphics and in plotters instead of toner we know how do we uh, print papers using a printer it is with the help of toners with without toners there won't be ink so instead of toners um, it uses a pen or pencil marker or another writing tool to draw multiple continuous lines onto a paper so these are plotters so these devices monitor printer speaker plotters they together form the output hardware or the output devices now um, regarding the oh, video the visual display unit first we have the monitor there are basically two different types of monitors crt and lcd crt is not actually used nowadays it was the earlier uh, kind of monitor that was used during the uh, during the earlier days crt refers to cathode uh, ray tube now we have all these lcd lcd is liquid crystal display so these are two different kinds of display uh, devices uh, where one is the early one and currently we have lcd that is liquid this crystal display with the modern technology and uh, even uh, while uh, discussing about the devices we made a clear cut difference differentiation between uh, um, input devices and output devices but at times overlappings may come in like the digital camera the pen drive touch screen webcam cd or dvd fax modem all these uh, they act as uh, input devices and also as output devices it uh, at times it functions as both input and output devices uh, then other than the input devices output devices and the internal hardwares uh, as i said at the beginning there are also uh, other uh, you know hardware systems or uh, other different i mean other categories and one such category is connecting hardwares uh, connecting hardwares uh, consists of modem and the lan card modem we know the portable uh, dial up networks we get through modem uh, lan card is again the local area network card which provides wireless internet access to computers so these two are connecting hardwares all right then comes storage hardwares uh, where data is stored uh, the hard disk first we have the hard disk then comes floppy disk and floppy disks are not in use now uh, cd is again uh, these floppy disks and cd roms are completely um, outdated they are they could completely replaced by the usbs uh, and uh, usbs we know the uh, we do call it pen drives so uh, pen drives replaced all the other uh, storage devices and uh, regarding the usb again uh, usb uh, we usually use the term very often without knowing what is the exact you know expansion of these three letters usb usb means universal serial bus and uh, this is the most popular connection to connect a computer device uh, to other devices like a camera printer scanners or other external hardwares and um, with the help of these usb cables uh, we connect our computer device to other devices and it is a, a cross platform technology which is supported by most of the operating systems um so these are the storage hardwares the disks the cds and the uh, pen drives uh, then how these data are uh, transferred from one device to the other device using a universal serial bus and uh, the last thing is regarding computer ports uh, port we know is a, a special place for being physically connected to some other device uh, the, that particular uh, place that particular port in the computer system where uh, uh, you know this physical connection is made to other device and it is usually with a socket or a, or a plug of some kind and uh, these are some of the ports that we usually see in uh, cpu the back part of the cpu uh, 
we have these ports for the keyboard the mouse usb ethernet two serial ports and this is a parallel port then the analog audio in and audio out units game port video out tv out bga so these are some of the computer ports that are there in a uh, a cpu you can find this in the back part of the cpu all these different types of ports so uh, dears that's all about uh, the basic hardware part of computer so as i uh, said we have the input part the output part the internal processing part um, then the connecting part the storage part so all these uh, devices together constitute the basic hardware system of a computer so i hope you'll remember this um, you can uh, go through this once again and make sure that you're thorough with this um, and uh, that's all about today's class thank you uh, sorry once uh, one thing i forgot to mention that is regarding the bluetooth devices something that we use nowadays very often uh, how do we connect our mobile phones our laptops uh, to other devices even without the help of usb cables we can connect our devices through bluetooth if you just turn on your bluetooth uh, you can access or you can transfer data to other devices to uh, you know even even play how do we play music in our in our in our vehicles it's through bluetooth so uh, bluetooth is another modern technology that is being used uh, by everyone in electronic gadgets uh, so that's all about today's session um, i hope it's clear to you all once again just go through it if you have, if you need any clarification kindly let me know thank you